All right. Kenman here. And I have returned from my trip over the weekend with some beat up hands. But it was a great time. And today we get to go on an adventure to uncharted territory. What unknown treasure awaits, shall we? Yes. Yes, we shall. <laughs> Before we start, I am not sponsored by anyone and I purchase everything at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. All right, what's in the box? What's in the box? Okay. Let's go ahead and make some nice cuts. And one right across the top. Nice, nice, clean. Let's get inside. Wow, I didn't get all the way through. <gasps> Wait. What? It's a blue line beauty from Bleed HQ. Alright. What is in store for us today? Here's the box. Anybody recognize that? And that is all box and peanuts all over the floor. So, oh, that side, this there gives it away. Today, we have a CMB made knife. This is my first CMB. I was uh, kind of perusing, just browsing you know and I found this and thought hmm interest hmm CMB hmm axis lock well let's give it a go geez just open the box F fine fine all right oh, I apologize my hands are beat I went on a Fishing trip up north with my buddies. Good time. We go every every winter. Had a blast. Had a few shorts and a couple of videos. Actually won a, won the fishing contest and got a fillet knife. Um, I had a little video on it here, being right there. I'll probably do a more detailed. I used it to fillet up a couple of fish, and uh, yeah, we'll talk about that maybe at some point soon. Stay tuned for that. But today. My first CMB. All right. Oh, wow. We got. We are blasted with some color. Holy. Mm. Very. This is like a very fiery orange, along with that line in the liner. That's like a. It's like a sheep. It's like a sheep. Um. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. It's always nice to get a pouch and. Get a lot of pouches. Look at this. Okay, attention. You are buying on knife. Keep the knife away from children. <laughs> okay, let's go. Who has a CMB in their life? This is my, like I said, first one. Wow, look at the way this looks. Excellent. This is the CMB Predator. Turn that off quick. I apologize. My heater fan was about to kick on. Okay. CMB Predator. Let's open it up. Look at this two tone. We have a two tone, a black, and a satin 14C28 and blade. Got their little logo right there. says 14 C right on there. Let's everyone think about that look, huh? That two-tone look with that little extra 
carve out. Ooh, and then the black goes all the way. See if you can focus on that. See that? So it's all the cuts have the satin. The black kind of cuts into here and then follows the top of the spine all the way down with that black. That's cool. That is really cool. Red micarta handle. Feels really nice. Looks nice. We have an axis lock. Ooh. All right. Can I flick it out? Yes, I can. A little worried about that right there. Talk about that in a second. Axis lock. The clip can be swapped from that side to that side. That is great for the lefties. That micarta that's got a matching little back spacer with this red or micarta. I love the way micarta feels. It's got that really nice grippy texture to it and then it kind of weathers and you can kind of see just by touching it like this it kind of changes and kind of wears in. I really like that with micarta. Feels great. All right. So it does uh, have the thumb studs right there so you can use that thumb stud to flick it out or to thumb it out or to flick it out and the axis lock you could use the axis lock to open it up as well open and close yep see now I have a larger hand and so I grab this like this my hand is all the way down here almost underneath it so when I squeeze look right here see that look at how close that is to where the blade comes out I had another knife, um, I don't have it with your, do I even still have that knife? But if, when I would go to close it like this, it came down and actually gave me a little nick right on that spot right there. And uh, you know, I hold it, maybe it's the way I hold it or whatever, but I have a large hand when I'm holding there and I grab that right there, my hand comes all the way down to it. So if the blade gets closer to that end, I have a little bit more of that potential engagement <laughs> but I find that I do use my fingers to hold on to the pocket clip so see how I'm holding this with my right hand it's got a nice swing break it in a little bit I do this better with my left hand but yeah I grab onto the clip so I haven't swapped the clip yet so when I grab it with my left hand I can't really do that so it makes me kind of grip around it a little bit more. So when I swap that, I won't have that as much of an issue. But it does have a nice swing. Thumbs out really good. I'm a little nervous with it right now just because I, I did it that one time. But yeah, the righty, you can see the action on this is really nice. Flicks out really, really nice. It's got a captive pivot, so that side has no hardware spot. This one's got the little... Wow, does that look like a T6? That is, huh? T6, T6, T6 all around. Yeah. Not a huge fan of that, but it's not a total deal breaker. All right. Lockup blade is solid all the way. Centering. It is nice and centered. I like the way the liner and everything on the inside is black. So you got this kind of sandwich red, black, red, black, red, black. Then you got the actual kind of brushed or the satin on the blade for that kind of tri trio, three tone kind of a look. Ah, oh, it's really clean. I like this a lot. What's everyone think about this? Who has a CMB? What are the other CMBs I should look at? Oops. Since I don't have that sponsorship or anything, I basically. It's on me to find these knives, and so I kind of look around. I found this. I like axis lock uh, knives. It looked like it was a nice size handle. I have a larger uh, hand, so I like a handle. Or when I kind of loosen up my grip like this, see how like it still kind of is there? My pinky doesn't really fall off of it. It's got this big area right here for your fingers to fall into, so you can't really swing up much past that. There is this kind of a... The way this notch is cut right there, you could, you can grip up. Well, you actually can totally grip up on that. You don't even really touch that corner. That's interesting. I usually don't need to worry about that with a larger hand. 
Oh, uh, there's no jimps. Sad face. I like me a jimp jimp. But that doesn't make yeah, that's uh, you know your thumb sits in there pretty nice. Get your index finger on there. I like the way this uh kind of just drop point blade get that in for a nice cut like that. Drops really nice with that lock. This is a nice knife. I'm actually feeling pretty good about this. Okay, um detent. Boom, it actually pulls it in pretty hard. You can see it kind of pops it out, slams it in hard, but thumb flicks it out pretty easy. You can flick it out, fairly simple. So it's that's nice that they've tuned that like that. Ooh, I feel like I almost cut myself that time. I got to get that flipped over. I'm not going to even do that anymore. I Did I? Look at that, almost. Can you see that on there? <laughs> yeah, that's my issue. The way I grab it, I, I like that there. And we're lucky. Okay, so let's do some comparisons. Hoop, little bit of fail there. I always compare everything with the CJRB Pyrite. It looks like it is a little bit larger. Handle of the Pyrite is a little bit shorter, and blade is a little bit shorter. Ah, uh, the pirate is just dirty. That tip, gross. Need to clean that. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit larger, kind of closer to that full-size knife. Um, cutting surface is definitely a little bit longer on that versus the pirate. Um, I grabbed a few similar... Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, my thumb is beat up from fish hooks. Now, this one here, see how far this is away when I squeeze that? It's like a mile away from the end. So I can do that all day and I don't really worry about that. But the axis locks, I like them quite a bit. This SOG Terminus is really reliable. Great knife. It's also a little bit smaller. It's pretty much the same size as the Pyrite. You can see I like, I like my red knives. Uh, my newest one <clears throat> is a clutch lock is what they call it. This is the NAFS Lander 2. But the action on this one, oh, they really did it. I'm sorry, my hands are just garbage today. But yeah, it just works great. Lander 2 is an awesome knife. Almost the same size on that one. Handle's a little bit smaller, but the blade's almost identical. It's the Lander 2 versus this CMB Predator. Grabbed one of my big ones, the old MSI, Microtech Standard Issue. It's got that huge cross, uh, I'm losing my brain, X, uh, uh, crossbar, yeah, it's the big one, but look, it's got, is this one's, the way it's designed is different, because there's a spring right there that, can I focus on that, that goes vertical there, you can see it in there, that makes that go up. Versus the like the Omega springs that are like kind of a spiral spring that's inside there around it um, That you can kind of see if you look inside there. It's kind of a spring. It almost looks like a uh, Sorry if I can't focus that today almost looks like a paper clip kind of in there um, Oh, sorry MSI is a huge knife. So it definitely makes it look a little bit smaller um, I got another American made one here bench made tagged out really like this knife um, that one flips out really nice, ah, except for today when I'm just fidgeting poorly with my hands being all beat up, but yeah, I really like this. This is like a, a bug out, except for it's a little bit bigger, a little more of the Huntsman style, but if you look at this, almost the same size. Handle on the tagged out is a little bit longer, and blade is just a little bit longer than that CMB, but that the tagged out is a really cool knife. Another one with that axis uh, lock, it would be the uh, <laughs> Kershaw Iridium. Very clean. This was a Blade Show Blade of the Year last year. Really cool knife. Got a nice look to it. Very smooth and clean. And you can see, see that cut I made on myself. I barely had this. I already cut myself with it. Uh, that's something that I have found though that when I've got these axis locks the way I grab it See I'm holding it here, and I'm not even there's plenty of space But I like I said on this one. I already I told you I was gonna do it, and then I just did it like 
I tell you what. Okay, so let's do the individual uh, kind of measurements here. Got my little ruler out. The whole length is just under eight inches. Probably a little, a little bit more than seven and three quarters. Blade is three and a half to the butt of the scales there, and the cutting surface is three and a quarter. Handle is oh, about a little more than four and a quarter. Trying to be four and a half, but not quite. Thickness this way, almost a half inch. Let's get out the scale. It feels like it's heavy. I'll try to get this in a spot we can see the, the numbers. Oh, I'm touching it, but it's center. Or zero, whatever. Okay, we can see that. We are in ounces right now. 4.57. We'll throw some comparisons on there. 3.6, so it's almost an ounce, close to an ounce heavier than the pyrite. Look at the tagged out. 2.1. It is over double the tagged out. It's, it's like the bug out. They make these to be light with these grivery scales. But wow, isn't that something? 2.1. Whoa. MSI is a beefy one. 4.7. 4.57. This almost weighs the same as the MSI. Wow. Yeah, the CMB uh, Predator has got a little beef to it. It's got some weight. 2.8. 2.9 almost for the lander too. So yeah, 4.6. Wow. Cool knife though. Pretty excited. Uh, CMB, like I said, if anybody has any of these, know of any that I should look at, any thoughts on it? This just, it feels thick in the hand like that, the, that grip. I like it. It's got that width to it. It kind of has that feel. Ugh didn't not even gonna do it I'm gonna flip that thing over the other side and then I'm gonna be happy but that's kind of the thing sometimes as a lefty you learn to dial things in to work good for you that's just something I gotta do and that's cool but yeah sometimes what it you know you gotta draw blood with a knife to break it in <laughs> nah, I don't know um, yeah, but like I said, I just got back from my trip, so uh, I kind of pre-filmed all the videos before then and kind of been posting some shorts and stuff while I was up there, but now I'm home. I'm going to get back into the swing of thing, things. I'm uh, going to get going on that scrimshaw project, uh, more unboxings coming, more dyes, laser marks, and uh, anodizing, all types of fun stuff coming in the future. We got Blade Show Texas coming up in just a few weeks. So I got to start and I got to do another video for that. I have some questions for everybody. Um, but yeah, a lot of exciting stuff coming in the future. This is my first CMB, the Predator. What's everyone think about it? That's going to be it for today. If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more. It helps me out and I really appreciate it. Stay sharp. We'll see you soon.